Hi, you guys doing? Watch your Andy Dubcage. I'm Andy, uh, Big Brother 18 edition. Uh, we just got our fourth evictee out. Let's talk about the week that we just uh, witnessed. All right, this week Bridget won HOH, as we know that just that just passed. But really, it was not her HOH. It was Frank's HOH because he was running the show. Simple as that. As easy as that. He told her. He gave her marching orders. And she marched right to it. So who does he want nominated? Which she, she did. Uh, basically, she was going after tar uh, Target was Tiffany, and Paul was the side dish of the nomination. And of course, what happened? Roadkill. Uh, Paul, or not Paul? Excuse me. Frank won. Roadkill, and he decided to put for dessert uh, Bronte. All right, so those are the three, and of course, uh, Bridget won veto this week, which is very surprising. Won three out of two competitions, which is something I never thought would actually happen, but it did. So, of course, during the last week or two, uh, Frank was rubbing everybody the wrong way, and his alliance turned on. Him, all right, so he did not realize this. Uh, until uh, last night, obviously. Um, basically, Devon was able to flip the house, okay, and, and she's playing an awesome game, by the way. And instead of getting his target out, she got Bronte out, which, in my opinion, for her game, was probably better because you know very well Tiffany's going to go after him. Hands down. You know if Paul gets a chance, to win HOH, uh, he's going to go after Frank because that's just how it is. So, at uh, this point, that's where it's at. So, Frank right now is probably doesn't know what the hell is going on. Uh, we'll probably figure out today, but it was 5 4 split. All right. So, they kept it tight and brought days up. All right. Uh, let's talk about alliances for a minute and where it's going and what I think is going to happen. Uh, right now, uh, one of the things I noticed this year, absolutely, uh, it seems to be a little bit more. It seems to be a lot of show matches this year. You got uh, Frank, well, I wouldn't call that really a show match. He's really kind of using her. Uh, Frank and uh, Brian, uh, Bridget, excuse me, are a couple. They're starting, you know, he's starting to use her, and she's following his orders. So that's, he, he's got her in his back pocket. And uh, James and Natalie are, are one. And uh, Nicole and uh, Corey is one. So th th those are six people. They're in one little group, if you want, of showmances. So the ones that are out of it right now is Michelle, Polly, and Paul, and uh, Devon, uh, Zazia, and Tiffany. So I wonder how long does it take them to realize that there's three showmances going on in the house. So that's one thing I noticed. And obviously, we all, all notice as well, too, that the eight pack is dead. And the uh, returning players, they're starting to turn on each other, which that's going to be great for the, uh, to, to watch down the road, how that develops. And, of course, the uh, Fatal Five is really the Fatal Four because Tiffany is, is kind of like the odd one out. So how long is it going to take her to figure out she, that she's not really that strong with them? And, of course, she probably already knows. How's that gonna? How's she gonna be able to change her game? She can still play the same way as her sister. We're gonna see. And of course, next Friday, guess what? The battle back is coming. First Friday of Big Brother USA I've seen. It's a special battle back. So they're gonna have four competitions, and the last one standing is going in the house, and that's gonna shake up the house. So that's my assessment right now. And of course, one more thing. Of course, we all seen it. Polly won. Uh, the HOH this week. So he's the new HOH. Now, somebody should have told him, you know what, we like to get rid of Frank this week. All right? But So they could have, through the competition, give it to another group, and they could have got him out. But they didn't do that, and guess what? He is safe this week. So, this is the question. What's Paul going to do? Is he going to go after some of the returning players? Is that going to be best for his game? Or is he going to go after the newbies? We're going to see. And 
that's uh, that's about it for me right now. So uh, you're out to Andy WTH. I'm Andy. And uh, if you like what you see, just subscribe below. And if you got any comments, by the way, put it down. And we'll talk to you uh, soon. Thanks. Bye.